One of my favorite use cases of these new AI image models like Nano Banana is to create branded images really fast. And the really big breakthrough that happened recently is that the AI can edit your image and preserve the way that you look, but it can basically apply branded filters to your image. This is a big deal because you can now turn all of your old images into amazing beautifully branded images that you can use in your marketing content, sales funnels, and anything else you need to grow your business. I call these style transfer prompts. And in this video, I'm going to show you my entire workflow of how I use them, plus a library of prompts that I created so you can kind of see what's possible. And just so you can better understand why this is a big deal, here's an example of a bunch of old photos. And we wanted to turn these old photos into more cohesive branded images that looked more like the design hacker brand. So we created a style transfer prompt that would take these old photos over here and put them into a unique branded style that looks really pro. We can do things like change the lighting, change the background, and even change what they are wearing. So the big problem is that a lot of clients we work with have a bunch of old photos or images or even stock photos that don't quite match the brand style. The solution now is you can edit any photo in just a few seconds with these new AI image models like Nano Banana. And the real secret is instead of going in and trying to do these one at a time, kind of talking with the AI on what you want, what you want to do is create prompts that will have all the instructions built in and then apply all of those edits to an image, kind of like a filter would do. So you can think of this like your own custom AI filter that has your brand style and information loaded in and boom, you can apply it to any image that you upload. The result is you can turn any photo into fresh branded content, super fast and easy that you can reuse anywhere. Now this concept of style transfer was something I developed after many hours of testing with Nano Banana and other AI image tools. And this was kind of my experience of going through, right? When you get Nano Banana, you're like, okay, cool. I can start to make some little edits and do some things. And my images look pretty cool, but it's not always perfect. The next level is you want to start mashing things together and like, hey, I want it to look kind of like this. Can we apply this style to it? But without the right approach to prompting, it gets kind of messy and the results aren't great. Where things got really crazy is when I realized that you could describe certain scenes and scenarios and then kind of put yourself into them so you could have really crazy looking images created. There are many great use cases to that, but the problem with that approach is that it does manipulate your face a bit because the AI is trying to put your face into a scene, which means the AI doesn't really know how you might look if you're turning your head or with a different facial expression. So the final level of image editing that I found works best is what I call style transfer, which basically preserves the original image and then applies a style to it, just like a filter. The reason that works better is because it doesn't move your face at all. It, it maintains your same expression, but it can change things like the lighting, the background, your clothing, any props or attire around you. And that level four editing has become really effective with client projects, with my own projects. You've seen some of the examples I already showed you. To me, this is one of the most obvious and needed use cases of these AI image models because you can basically take world-class Photoshop retouching and editing and apply it to all of your images really fast and easy. So what I've been doing in various projects is creating prompts that we can use over and over for different businesses and brands. And you can see here, these are looking pretty cool. We can take a bunch of random photos and create team photos that look really cohesive. Down here, we have a couple different prompts that we developed for this client, where we have more of a white background, a green background. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use the style transfer prompts to edit images while keeping the person and pose the same. I'll show you how I organize my prompt library inside Notion so I can reuse styles across projects. I'll show you the tools I use for testing and scaling results fast. And then a couple bonuses at the very end, I'll show you an additional tool that you can try that will help you create watermark free images with Nano Banana. So it does the exact same thing, but you won't have that little Gemini logo in the bottom corner. And then I'll show you some additional examples of custom branded style transfer prompts. And the big idea here is that you can create stylized branded images that you can use in your sales funnels and marketing content. So it makes your content creation way faster and easier. It's really amazing how much better these sales funnels look when you have this kind of cohesive look and feel for every image. It can really elevate 
all the content you create, all of your sales pages, websites, marketing funnels. It basically makes every piece of content that you create look on brand way faster and easier than ever before. All right, so what I'm gonna show you next is about a seven minute training that I uploaded into my mood board method course. And what it shows you is a library of prompts that I created that you can get access to inside the course if you want to buy the course. But I wanted to share this publicly because you can see what I'm doing behind the scenes. You can see how I am organizing prompts and you can see the workflow of how I go from prompt to image editing, the different tools that I use and how I do it. So enjoy this seven minute training. And then at the end, I'll do a quick recap and show you a couple bonuses. All right, I'm really excited to share with you the new AI style transfer prompt library. These are prompts that will basically apply a visual style to your image without changing the subjects, pose, face, tilt, anything. It just tries to apply the style to it a lot like a filter. So this is meant to be used with Nano Banana right now. That's the best model for it. And with each one of these, you can go grab the prompt, drop in your image into a tool like Gemini. You could use AI Studio. You could even use Mixboard from Google. All of these are free options right now. And these prompts will take that style and apply it to your image. So let's see how it did with this one. Here is the original image of me and Let's put this showman or showgirl fractured spotlight style on it. All right, the results are pretty epic. So let's take a look here at what it did. You can see this one is actually designed to change the clothing a little bit to make it fit more into the scene. It doesn't always change the clothing, but you can specify things. And that's a pretty cool image that uh, got the job done. If you wanna use something like mix board, you can drop in a few images at once and see what it does. We can take that same prompt. Hopefully it works. This is an experimental tool, but what I found is for bulk image editing, this is a pretty cool option. I made a whole video on it, but so far so good. The testing has been pretty good. Uh, you can basically select all the images and drop the prompt in there and apply that to all of these. And we can see here it is either replacing them or it'll make a new image. I think it is replacing them. And there we go. It did it to all of them. So I can kind of see all of those. We missed one. So I'll just drop that in and run it. But we can look here. I mean, that's pretty dang good. <laughs> it even added something in my hand here. Wow, that's pretty cool. So all of these look good. I mean, pretty wild. I'm not sure what happened to my hand there. But overall, I mean, you can see the results are pretty good. And you can always run it again to try out another variation of it. So all these prompts are pre-made. You do have a tool as well called the style transfer tool to make your own, but this is a great place to look for inspiration to kind of see what the AI is capable of. Some of these are pretty wild. You can add text effects in there. So in this case, you can see it like came up with a name. The end of the prompts all have a little thing that says additional details. So if it was something like that, where you're adding their name or some text in the background, or you wanted to tell it specifically to do something, you can always add details at the end of each one. I've been really impressed with some things like the text here. So let me try this one out and let's go ahead and do another example. Let me just delete those. I'll use AI studio here for an example. Let me just drop in something like this and we'll say something at the end. I'll put in text should be about branding and design and creativity. So let's just give it a little bit more instructions and I'll just run that through with that prompt, with that photo. And while that's going, let me do a batch version of that. I'll just drop a bunch of images in and see what it does with all of these. Here we go. So we can see the original image was here and you can see it created like this trace around it. You can see how it followed the prompt here, branding, power, design, magic, create now, ideas. So pretty cool that it actually fit the theme that I gave it. So let's try another one here. I'm gonna grab all of these. And in that prompt at the end, let me put something like text and visuals should be about this. And let's say background should be, let's do red as a background. Okay, so I'm giving it a little bit more instructions. I'm kind of overriding what was in the core prompt, adding a little bit of text at the end. You can be more specific. 
And again, I made all these prompts using the style transfer tool, which you have access to. So you can go in and create any kind of prompt that you want. You can use these as inspiration. Some of them are really cool for like studio um, portrait headshots. Stuff like this is really helpful. I think this white background one is pretty cool. It adds a, a nice flash and shadow behind it. So take a look at some of these, try them out. And the goal is if you want these, you can uh, basically use them as a starting point and things like the color, you can actually go in and just change out the prompt yourself. So if you feel like it's pretty close, you can just make tiny little edits to the prompt to make it match your needs. All right, here we go. So with those couple updates, we have the visuals. Now there's still kind of space visuals, but you can see the red background did work. So in just a few seconds, I was able to edit all of those images and create some pretty amazing designs. I mean, that is really incredible that I can do that at scale that fast with really good results. All right, so this is where I'm gonna be updating anything cool that I find, um, the capabilities. Obviously the artistic stuff is pretty good. The scenes that you can create and these really cool looking styles you can add in there. In some cases it will, you, know, you can see I can change their clothing. I think this prompt was, what was it called? High contrast pop studio flash with fruit theme. So it basically applies a fruit theme to the person and puts them in clothing to match the fruit. So you can get really creative with this. My hope is that you will be inspired. You will come up with something that works for your brand and you'll have a lot of fun with this. All right, let's do a quick recap. You just saw that sample training from inside the mood board method course. I hope that was insightful and helpful to you. Even if you don't have the course, you can kind of see my workflow and what I'm doing over there with style transfer prompts. You saw how I use the prompts. You saw how you can apply the style to an image, kind of like a custom branded filter. You saw how I organize my prompt library inside Notion. You saw the tools that I use for testing and scaling my results. Gemini is okay. AI Studio is great. One of the benefits with AI Studio is you can manually select the aspect ratio. So I like that about AI Studio a lot. And I showed you Mixboard, which allows you to edit multiple images at once. So a big benefit there. And on Mixboard, it currently does not put the watermark down in the bottom corner. The downside of Mixboard is it's very experimental right now, so they could change things any day, but I definitely like using that for quick testing and experimenting. And now a couple quick bonuses here at the end, as I mentioned, there is a cool little tool here that will allow you to basically create images just like you're in Gemini or AI Studio using Nano Banana, but it won't apply the watermark. And I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. This person basically created kind of a knockoff version of Google Gemini. And the only difference is you will have to put in your own API key, which is pretty easy to do. You just set it up once inside AI Studio, and then you can drop it in here, create images, and they don't have the watermark. There are some other options as well that are paid. If you wanna get that watermark off of there, you can use tools like Higgsfield AI, or free pick as well. All right, and the final thing I'll show you here is just a little bit more of my testing. These are some of the prompts that I added into that prompt library inside that course. But just so you can see here, kind of what's possible is taking these original images and then creating a transfer style prompt that you can use over and over for your own brand. You can make every image look really on brand and consistent in all of your marketing. And these examples just kind of show you the flexibility, how it works with any size image, different lighting environments. And I think there's so many potential use cases here. I've shared the example in the past of like podcasters when they want to have promotional images for guests that have been on their podcast. Someone like Tim Ferriss does these like artistic drawings of them. So you can imagine a lot of really cool stuff. If you're doing a summit, if you're having a panel of guests or speakers, you'll see this a lot where they put them in a consistent branded image style. And I think there's just a lot of really practical and super creative use cases of what you can do. So if you wanna learn more about how to do all of this, I'll put a link on the screen so you can check it out. I've got some other videos on YouTube that are totally free. You can watch and learn more about how this works. But overall, I'm super excited about this. And I think this is really one of the best ways to use these new AI image models for branding and marketing purposes. And if you happen to do work like this for clients, this is an obvious money maker and time saver for you. If you're just doing this for your own business, 
then this could be a really fast and affordable way to start leveraging AI to get your content upgraded. And if you do plan to hire on a team or a designer, you'll have a system in place to make them much more effective. All right, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this training. Let me know what you think about this. I'd love to see if there's any other tools or prompts out there that are working for you. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos if you want to learn how to use AI to build your brand way faster than ever before.